Hey, welcome back, guys. Welcome to my channel, Divine True Tarot. I'm your reader, Annetta, and we're going to tap into the collective energies to see what's going on with you and your person. Okay, please keep in mind that this reading is general, the energies are fluid, and the message is timeless. We're just going to cut to the chase and hop right on into it. How are you guys doing? I hope everybody is doing lovely, awesome, and wonderful. And I hope that these messages will bring some type of clarity or blessings of knowledge to your journey in love. That's right. All right. All right, guys. Let's, let's get it. Let's get it. You know what? I don't have an official intro. I just say what's on my mind. So, you know, sometimes my intros be up to a minute. I'm just saying because I'll be trying to get some thank yous and some some um, channelings out. But for this reading right here, I don't I don't have no pre-channel messages, so we're just gonna hop right on into it and see what spirit has to say about you and your person collective. All right. Holy Spirit, holy angels. What can you tell me? Mm, there we go. What can you tell me? Okay. Two of Pentacles, somebody is off balance. Somebody is juggling, got a decision to make. Don't know what to do with the Queen of Cups energy. Should you choose yourself is what I'm getting. It's making me feel like somebody here has a decision that they have to make regarding family, the well-being of a family. This is making me feel like somebody needs to take care of themselves or somebody. And they're up and down in their emotions about doing it, having to do it, with decisions that they have to make to do this, if they want to do this here. Because the Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles is the Three of Pentacles, so that's coming into some type of agreement or a contract with a third party or an outside person. And it's making me feel mother figure. Somebody don't know what to do about their mother. Whether they should come into some type of type of agreement or contract because of a mother this is for some you could be the mother of twins and you 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 got a decision to make about one or the other this is you or your person yes kids are involved are you up and down in your energies or emotions about becoming a mother, collective? This is you, or is your person doubting that you should become a mother? So they feeling they don't know if you are the mother of their, their twins for some of you guys. That didn't sound right. <laughs> Are you the mother of their twins? Uh, basically, are those twins theirs? <laughs> I, I had to, I'm like, wait a minute, that didn't come out right, but yeah, they they're questioning are your twins? Yeah, or are you the mother of their twins? I mean, are, are those twins theirs? That's that's what they're questioning. Okay, what else can you tell me, Spirit? Thank you. Two of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, they don't know if they should give to this situation. Somebody could be worried about child support. <sighs> they want to know if these twins are theirs or these two children are theirs. And they're 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 debating up and down in their energies about whether they're going to give to this, this mother. Give to these children. That's kind of low. That's it. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say that's kind of low because if you're having questions that these children are yours, then, you know, yeah, you want to know if you're going to be given to the right situation. But at the same time, this is this is giving me an energy of somebody that had been with this queen of mothers. So they either could have been with you while helping you raise your children. And now they're questioning your children that you have together with this person. But they was there to help raise your children that you had before you met this person. Something of the sort. They only want to take care of their kids. And they want to see if that those kids are actually theirs. Something of the sort. Honey boom. What is this? Holy Spirit, what else can you tell me? 
Yeah, they don't know. Seven of Cups. <laughs> Bells and whistles don't lie. Confusions and illusions here. Choices and options. They feel as though this mother figure has choices and options, and they're questioning whether the children are theirs. Either two children or a set of twins. They love them so much here, but they have questions. Yeah. Okay, Holy Spirit, what else can you tell me? Hmm. For some of you, Divine Feminists, you don't know if these kids are theirs. I mean, damn. Yeah. Is it, is it, is it his or his? It his? There, there could be up to seven possibilities. I'm just saying. Or, uh, damn. Somebody could have seven kids or been pregnant seven, seven times, up to seven times. Um, those messages are specific for somebody. That's that's not for everybody, you know. But that's what I got, so I'm gonna, I gotta say, it. yeah. Somebody is confused or they don't know if these children or these twins are theirs. So that's wrong. Holy Spirit, what else can you tell me? Thank you. Ace of Wands, the Hermit, Virgo Energy, King of Cups. Now we have the King and Queen of Cups out here. These are counterparts here. It's making me feel as though you and this person really don't know what to do about each other. Okay, with this Hermit Virgo energy out here with the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Scorpio, it's like some somebody in this connection is confused about their emotions because they're driven by their passions. Okay, so they don't know if they want to stay or do they want to go. This is why this Two of Pentacles energy is the first energy is out. They don't know if they want to give to the situation because they have choices and options and new passionate beginnings here. Okay, somebody is also too emotionally manipulative. With this hermit and this king of cups, oh yeah, somebody hides their emotions very well. Why? Because they mastered them. Somebody out here is very intuitive. Somebody out here could be questioning whether they, they're they following their intuition or they should trust their intuition or they should go and, and down the direction of what their intuition is telling them. This is why that seven of cups energy is here. Somebody is, is really trying to find their way through their intuition about how to approach or handle this situation because there's questions. Somebody is questioning this situation, this connection here. Somebody is questioning somebody, somebody's integrity. You could be a very intuitive and somebody is questioning whether you are really that in tune is making me feel like it's yeah somebody they don't know how the fuck you know this shit mm -hmm. how the hell you know this shit <sighs> somebody was juggling options here juggling whether they was going to give to another option here they had a choice and a decision decision to make this could be you or your person yeah this could be you or your person. What can you tell me, Holy Spirit? Let's see. Holy Spirit. We have the four, ooh, ooh, the four of swords. Mm -hmm. Healing is here. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be healing mentally from a choice that they had to make following their heart. Yeah. What else can you tell me, Holy Spirit? Yeah. You have big choices to make. Yeah. What is this? justice mm -hmm. didn't i tell you you have big choices to make it's making me feel as though that you have some legal issues to deal with here but this is also karmic justice here because of these choices that you had to make here and it's making me feel as though collective that you made a choice to put something to rest mentally in love on yourself 
change your direction and your focus here. This is like somebody regaining balance within their mental and their emotional energies, okay? You have to make a choice or a decision, and this is going to shape the outcome or the repercussions of a decision that you have to make. I heard choose wisely. This is what you're doing. This is why you're going inside yourself to really find the answers with this hermit energy. Trying to stay con in control of your emotions so you can make the right choices with this just this Libra energy. Libra, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is out here very strong. Okay. What else can you tell me, Holy Spirit? Mm -hmm. The choice will be made to rebalance these scales. These scales is off balance here, but this sword of truth, this ace of swords is up, pointing all up under these two scales that's off balance. So the choice to balance out the energy or the karma in this connection will be made, and that is the right choice. You just got to decide on what choice that is for you. With this queen of cups and king of cups, there's love here. Okay, you guys loved each other at one point in time, but somebody went ghost or somebody went silent. Somebody stopped talking to somebody, something of the sort. But that love is still here. But somebody's confused about the love or having a new beginning in this love that they have with you or for you. Okay? All right. What else can you tell me, Holy Spirit? Yep. Knight of Cups. But you see, with this Knight of Cups, you see the image of a cup. But that cup is empty, it's void. That's an illusion of a cup of love that's coming in towards you. Mm. Looking dead at this justice. Somebody is trying to heal things with you because they looking at karma trying to make things right with you because justice is right here the truth will come out it's like they want to come in and try to try to try to woo you or or soothe you over before this truth come out justice be served something of the sort mm, trying to make it right before it gets worse uh-huh trying to give you reciprocity now with this six of pentacles uh-huh, I'm taking action and effort towards it. They, they made a decision. Here they come. Some of them have to travel. Very optimistic energy out here. Mm-hmm. Very optimistic. You guys are not talking. Y'all haven't talked. <clears throat> Y'all haven't talked in a while. Mm-hmm. It's like, what is there to say? Okay, what else can you tell me? Five of Wands, yeah, because there's always co co conflict when you guys got together to talk. That's why there is no talking, okay? Somebody want to work on this connection, but I hear fear of conflict here, okay? What can you tell me? The Page of Cups, yeah. Somebody want to apologize or they want to come in with this, this innocence of love because the Page of Cups, this innocence of love. That's, that's that's being emotionally immature. That love is innocent. It doesn't mean that it's bad. It just means there's, that it's not the, the, the experience of love there with this page of cups. So somebody's emotionally immature when it comes to love. That doesn't mean it's bad, okay? That just means it's new. And somebody want to express something to you because um, pages of cups, pages are um, messengers. So somebody could want to have a conversation, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation after a fight or an argument, okay? They want to come in with this romance and shit, but that cup is empty. It's making me feel they don't know how to come in towards you to try to resolve the issue that you guys have or had, Okay? Oh, with the king and queen of cups out here. Oh, yeah. And justice out here. Y'all married. Mm-hmm. And it's making me feel like this king, this masculine king of cups, this masculine energy went ghost or hermit 
on this Queen of Cups, that through this Queen of Cups and the Two of Pentacles up and down emotional energy here about what they're going to do, what forward movement they're going to take here. I heard they want to be fair to self. With this justice out here in the Queen of Cups, you damn right. Okay, what else can you tell me, Holy Spirit? Mm. We had a Three of Swords. Mm -hmm. Heartbreak, disappointment. We have the Chariot. Excuse me, put that right there. <clears throat> We have the Eight of Wands. Ooh, somebody getting a hell on. We had a Page of Swords. Somebody left looking. And then we have the Six of Cups. Looking at that past nostalgic energy. Because somebody got the hell on because of this heartbreak, y'all. They don't want to do this anymore, is what I heard. Okay, gathering information. Somebody could be looking into your past. This is for some of you guys. Looking at past lovers or connections here people that you hooked up with in the past they could be looking at that what's at the bottom of the deck we had a two of cups okay this was a soulmate connection yeah it's making me feel like somebody sabotaged a brand new beginning or a clearing of the air with you collective this could be you or your person but this is this is feeling like sabotage here, which is two of cups, this four of pentacles, and this ace of swords. Yeah, somebody don't want to talk about the truth here, okay? Why they don't want to talk about the mm -hmm. high priestess energy, Pisces energy at the bottom of the deck? They don't want to talk about the truth, uh huh, because there's still secrets here, uh huh, secrets about self. Okay, they don't don't want to reveal their their vulnerability. They don't want to reveal their secrets. Okay? Somebody is trying to stop the conversation here. Mm -hmm. Why is they trying to stop this conversation, Holy Spirit? Why is this person trying to stop this conversation? We have the Ten of Cups. Judgment. Amen. Okay. Page of Pentacles. I'm um, Page of Pentacles. I am so sorry. Seven of Pentacles. Look, Page of Pentacles. I I just seen the whole doggone thing. But this is Seven of Pentacles. Excuse me. So there could be some type of offer, some type of um new beginning here. Um, a new assignment. A new job, some type of uh, 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 message about some income that's coming in. Okay, that's for some. But um, this is making me feel like somebody had to change their ways because of some type of decision that they made. This is making me feel like somebody decided to go after wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment here. And that's that they were dead set on that decision, but bam, they feel stuck in that decision that they made. It's making me feel like this person is sitting under judgment because of the decision that they made, because they thought that this was happiness. They thought that this was the Ten of Cups happily ever after, not sitting next to judgment in the hangman. Now, if these two were just together, oh yeah, all right, but here go the hangman, uh uh. Somebody had been sat down to gain some type of enlightenment. These are two enlightenment cards back to back. Awakenings and enlightenment. Somebody had to finally realize that you were their happiness. And it took the, the hand of the universe to work in this person's life in order for them to sit down and really look at shit from a different perspective. Things in this connection from a different perspective. Yeah. Uh-huh. They know that you're their soulmate here. They That's have been revealed to them. Yeah, they were holding back the truth. There's some type of truth from you. Somebody could have also too been holding back a reunion or a new connection here. Okay? It, it's making me feel like shame. I said that earlier. With this person. 
Hmm. Let's see. Holy Spirit. What else can you tell me? Hmm. Okay. Somebody, they confused if they should give a new opportunity or a new um, passionate connection with somebody else. Mm -hmm. They don't know who to give to. They don't know if they need to give to you or they need to give to somebody else. They have choices and options. It's making me feel like more than one, per one person here. Okay. What's this? Strength. Mm -hmm. Leo energy. The universe says, be strong, my dear. Two of swords. Yeah, there's a decision that has to be made. Ace of cups at the bottom of the deck. About a new love or an old love. Or self-love here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. This is making me feel as though you can have a secret love here. Okay, with the Ace of Cups, the Moon, Pisces energy, and the Emperor, Aries energy. The Emperor energy is a boss. Somebody who has self-control. Somebody who can uh, uh, have an, a magnetic attraction. But with this Moon energy, there's secrets here. And what is that secret about this big-ass Ace of Cups? So somebody probably is trying to keep a new love or a true love secret here. Okay. They don't want you to know, or this is you trying to keep away from a person or somebody here. Uh, that you trying to keep secret a new love, a new opportunity in love, something of the sort. Mm -hmm. Because you closed off to this person here. Mm -hmm. You have to find the strength to find it within yourself to close it off with this person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You and this person have history, but now you blocked off. You don't want it no more. Mm -mm. You found the courage within yourself to say no to this person. Uh-huh. And you're keeping secret about a new love. Mm-hmm. Or, or, or you are just loving on yourself so much that you just blocked everything <clears throat> from this person. All social media, all contact. You don't even talk to their family members anymore. Or people that know both of you guys, associates, mutual friends and things of the sort. You see what I'm saying? Okay. We have the Nine of Cups stuff flying out here. And the full energy. Be careful what you wish for. And then we have the hair fit. We have Aries, Pisces energy. And it's, we have Taurus energy out here. Okay. With this, I see that you have your wish fulfillment coming in because you have taken a leap of faith within yourself, okay? You have taken a leap of faith within the most high within yourself with this Hierophant. You're, you are trusting your, your, your higher sense of self. You are trusting Holy Spirit. You are trusting the God in you to bring in everything that will satisfy you emotionally. This is a lot of healing, okay? But with this full energy, with this snake, be careful, of what you wish for, okay? Because something could look trustworthy, something that you could want to just go all in with or just take that leap of faith towards, bam. You got a snake right here and you don't even know it, baby. And this could be a wish fulfillment. This is why I say be careful of what you wish for, okay? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's Harrison, this is the source, this Empress. <laughs> ah, you know what I see? <laughs> Regardless of what the fuck somebody try, you are protected and surrounded because with this Empress energy and this Harrison energy with this Six of Swords energy, baby, you, you are a spiritual leader. Okay, you work with the Most High. You work with Holy Spirit to change your circumstances, to move out of a Five of Swords energy. Taurus all over this. You gonna have Taurus highly aspected in your chart. I got two Taurus cards, very, very rooted and grounded in what the hell that you know that you can have and create with the Most High. You are willingly being led through all troubles 
and tribulations in life. From your faith and your experience, your lessons and your blessings from the most high, your higher sense of self, a.k.a. God, the Holy Spirit within you, being divinely guided with the six of swords. Through troubled waters. Mm, mm, mm. Honey bone. You was married to this person, either this lifetime or the last. Yep. This person here, now they want to commit to you because they see you as the empress. There is no more confusion. confusion. This person is blocking out all options here, okay? Because they want to return to the past. It has taken a lot for this person to come to this realization. But they did their due diligence by gathering information on how to move forward with you in this connection. Because they was very heartbroken about the choices that they made regarding this connection. Because they was given to another person, an outside energy. They want to apologize for causing fights and having you in competition and have you conflicted and confused and shit because justice has been served on that ass. Mm -hmm. And the cold part about this is with the king and queen of cups sitting on the table with the justice and the hair fit, with the empress and the chariot, with the Queen of Cups, this love affair was deep, deep, deeply rooted in the divine. This is a, not only is this a soul contract with your soulmate, this is, this is starting to make me feel like this is an old, a old twin flame connection. It's like they knew they were twin flames in multiple night lifetimes and they still struggling to get it together in this lifetime. Okay? This this an old couple. They recognized each other over multiple lifetimes. Now, I'm not saying consistent lifetimes, but you know, they they then spent more than 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 than, than two or three lifetimes together. It's making me feel more like three. That's how old this connection is. Somebody already knew what was going to happen and how this connection was going to unfold. This is you feminine. That's that feminine energy here. Yeah, very psychic here with this empress and this queen of cups. You damn right. Somebody try to pull the wool over your eyes. I think the fuck not. They only end up hurting their self. Now they sitting here looking at you move on, trying to be strong and shit, trying to find the strength within them to carry on and move on too. Especially with this six of cups and this hair fent energy out here with the king and queen of cups. Oh yeah, y'all so y'all old ass couple. <laughs> it's like damn, y'all done been through this before. Y'all still trying to get it. Hey, that's how it happened though, because there's lessons on lessons and lessons, and with those lessons come all these blessings here to elevate in the energies of the love. Hmm. What else can you tell me, Holy Spirit? Okay. We have the Four of Pentacles. The Two of Cups. Judgment. And the Hangman. Somebody is holding back. They are not, they are done with this connection here. They are holding back. They're not having it with the four of pentacles and the hangman energy. Yeah, somebody done seen something here. Somebody done had some type of revelation here with this judgment here. Okay. Waking up to self or waking up to spirit or waking up to the realization of this connection here. 
Okay, uh-huh, soulmate connection with this two of cups. Somebody, I told you, somebody know exactly who somebody is in this connection right here. This, y'all old, this an old-ass couple. This grandma, grandpa, 102 and 103, been married since they was 19 and 18. That type of old-ass, sorry, that didn't sound right. I'm so sorry. I, I was about, but y'all old. It's, and, and the reason why I guess I'm, um, I'm getting kind of amped and hyped because about the all history is because it 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 it's it still lessons. It's it's starting to make me feel like the same lessons that y'all have to repeat lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. Why? Why is these lessons not being learned with each other so y'all can move past this stage? Hmm. I mean, it's like, I'm, uh, with all this Taurus energy, is somebody out here being hard-headed while somebody out here, is, while the other is being emotional? Okay, balanced in their emotions. Because like I said, we had the king and queen of cups out here with the two of cups. Come on. Are y'all rejecting each other? <sighs> that confusion. Somebody have options and choices that they could give to or they want to give to out here. Okay, they look at, at this new option or choice that they want to give to as a new passionate beginning you know they could have they are very attracted to this new option they have but they trying to weigh out the options here so i'm telling you this person made you an option do you really want to stay especially if you're an empress divine feminine are you operating in your feminine energies and you know that you got it together because you got the hair fit in the six of swords you listen to God. You listen to the Holy Spirit within yourself to move forward from mind games, bullshit, and fuckery with this Six of Swords. I'm telling you, the Six of Swords is one of my favorite um, energies out of the deck. First is the Hierophant. There's the Empress and the Six of Swords. I mean, here you go. <coughs> Six of Swords is moving away from that. And with the hair fin out here, you are being spiritually guided while remaining graceful. So with this Empress energy, it's making me feel like you've been through a whole bunch of shit dealing with this one. A lot of hurt, pain, and sorrow. Backstabbing, neglect, emotional abuse, physical abuse. Shit, I heard financial abuse. All the name calling, all the shame they brought to the connection that you have with them. All the disrespect. All the sleepless nights. All the fights, all the phone calls from other females calling your man shit. This is what made you an empress. Why? Because you never strayed away from the Holy Spirit that's within you. With this hair thing. You could have had help and counseling along your journey and your way, but you kept true to the words of the Most High. You kept true to the words and the advice of Christ. How to live life. And because you have done this, you have grown and mastered all four queens. Shit and kings of the tarot. Because an empress is a feminine energy that run countries, multiple domains. A king only runs one country. A queen can only run one country. An emperor and an empress, oh, they run countries. Mastering their, their journey. Especially when it comes to their spiritual journey, their higher self, they're, they're, they're taking the advice that was given on how to create a new person 
from the experiences that this feminine energy has experienced, have felt, have overcame, have endured and conquered. Okay. Mm, beautiful energy. All right. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Let's 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 go one more. Holy Spirit, what can you tell me? That is way too many. <laughs> we ain't doing all that. <laughs> can you kick out one Holy Spirit? <laughs> they done kicked out on don't go on a whole lot. Thank you for this one. I appreciate it. Boy, yeah, we have temperate Sagittarius energy. Mm -hmm. Them scales and that energy will be balanced. Peace of mind is here. Okay. You had to temper some shit. You had to take control of some anger, some hurt, some grief, some jealousy, some envy. Yes. This is what you had to do, collective. You had to temper your mindset and your emotions. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. Empress, uh, uh, feminine. You, you could be embodying, balancing out your emotional stay here with this King and Queen of Cups. Because you 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 came into contact with somebody that you wanted to give your love to, or you came into contact with somebody that gave their love to you. Either you felt it or you gave it, and that is coming into balance. That's beautiful. That's a message for somebody. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What's at the bottom of the deck? Nine of Pentacles. Feeling fabulous and free. <laughs> Feeling well taken care of. Very abundant. Creative energy here. There's a lot of earth in this energy, and I love it. Okay? Let's see. What messages do you have? Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective regarding this reading right here? What other messages do you have for the collective regarding this reading right here? Thank you, my love. All right. Let's rock. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll take that one. We'll put these back. I'll take this one. Remain positive. <laughs> Did I just say that? Oh, and I never read my angel answers in the reverse. That's some bullshit. <coughs> oh, somebody needs to say something. But remain positive. Remain positive about your situation here. Keep the faith and the hope. There is positivity that's coming out of this. A positive outcome is coming out of this. This is why spirit is saying remain positive. Because a positive outcome, it is forecast. Okay? It is possible. You just got to remain in the positive energy that, will, that, will in, that you will endure and abide in in the outcome. Okay? Because this coming to an end. Okay? <laughs> Things don't last forever. This too shall pass. Okay? But you got to go through the process of this to, or in order for you to master the energies of love, to master your, your spirituality and your relationship with the Most High. Okay? Within the next few months, ask help from others. Not the right time. Success. So success is on the way. Remain positive. Now is not the right time. Maybe you need to help or help. You need to ask help from family and friends that can help you in this situation that you're going through right now. This could be advice. This could be material help. This could be emotional support. Something of the sort. Okay. It's making me feel like advice because ask help from others and not the right time. It's not the right time for you to either let people know what it is that you're going through. It's like, don't let them know exactly what you have to go through especially pertaining to a relationship or a connection until you can have a positive resolution with remain positive and success. This is a positive resolution to the situation. Okay. It's like 
Now is not the time to turn to friends. Now is time. Now is the time to turn to God and the angels to help you through this situation. Now is not the time to turn to friends or family in order for you to get help from them regarding a situation or a relationship. Now is the time to turn to God and your angels and your spirit guides and ancestors whom the Most High have sent to you in the energies of love and light and the righteousness righteousness thereof for, to, for them to give you the advice and the counseling that is needed to help you in this time going through this process right now of clearing energies, of transforming yourself while you're going through the lessons and the blessings that come out of those lessons regarding love. I hope I got that out right. I did. Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. I appreciate that. Holy Spirit, what else can you tell me? What other messages do you have? Yeah, you will. If you When you remain positive while you're going through something, because it's, I feel a lot of stress here, collective, dealing with your person, you're really, really trying to stay in the energies of being loving not only to yourself but actually being uh uh cordial <laughs> damn cordial okay being cordial with this person because you you really trying to operate in the energies of love you don't want no smoke it's like look i love you and i let you go or i love you and we can do do this or something of the sort because i do feel like it's a separation from your person but you you guys have a lot of love or mutual admiration for each other but right now it's like you're cool on this person here or they could be cool on you because they you you guys still have a a, a task or a process to continue to heal from the hurts and disappointments of the love that you already experienced with other people. Okay. All right. Okay, I'll take it. And then we're going to wrap it up after this. At the bottom of the deck, we have unlikely. Okay, because now is not the right time. Okay, there's something better. Okay, so recovery so for some of you guys maybe you're trying to recover from this connection because you know you have a new connection i did say you have a new connection here so you know it's unlikely that you're going to get back with this person because you know that there's something better out there for you or you know that holy spirit <clears throat> has something that um can help you heal something better some of you guys could have a it, it, it's um Huh, I'm getting this too. If you have a health issue or ailment, there's 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 a better uh, um option or a better alternative um um I don't want to say diagnosis, but like a, a better doctor or a better opportunity to heal from a sickness or an ailment. This is for some. Okay. That's 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 a Pacific message for somebody. So please, you know, don't make it fit. But that was a Pacific message for somebody. Yeah, if you have to have surgery or something like that, yeah, there's a better option out there for you. Here is yeah. Okay. All right. Dang. <laughs> that was random. All right. Here we have choose a new direction. There, oh, okay, I got you. I heard you, Holy Spirit. Then we have listen to your intuition. Uh-huh, I told you, I heard you. <laughs> and then we have in the near future. And then we have if you believe. You damn right, there's a better option and choice out there for you. This ain't, you know what? It's like the Holy Spirit had was the chief surgeon and cutting out all the bitterness, all the anger, all the resentment in your heart for you to have an open heart, to have the energies of love flow into that heart. And, and it's making me feel as though you wasn't optimistic about your chances of recovering from a heartbreak that just cut you to the core. But uh-uh, most high God, they done did surgery on that heart. And now you in recovery. Okay? And the reason why you're in recovery now, recovery right now is because you had to, you had to switch. You had to change directions, choose a new direction, listen to your intuition. You know, you had to do that. This could be coming in the near future for some of you guys, but it's really making me feel like this has already happened because that surgery is post-op now with this recovery. Okay. We have something else better. And then we have recovery. You damn right. This recovery is loud. Mm hmm And I could see it because you have the hair fin, you have the strength energy, okay? You have the full energy. You have the empress energy out here on the table. So that, that is making me feel as though you have recovered from the issues in life. 
especially regarding love. I heard you have been through this before. I heard you know what you have to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But somebody want to come back and just really smooth things over with you. Um, now they see you for who you are with this temperance and this empress and this two of cups energy with the hierophant out here. Okay, they want to take a leap of faith with you right here. Come out of these choppy waters into common waters with you right here. They're trying to find the strength and the courage in order for them to come forward towards you right here. They're trying to gather information or they're spying and looking to see how they can move things forward with you right here. But you know what? I'm going to tell you, this person is really focused on moving things forward with you. I don't really feel that this person has healed or this is you really looking to move forward things forward with the person but i don't see too much of an energy that you healed i mean this is vice versa one person has healed and they're on their path and their journey and they're moving forward and the other one is dragging ass they dragging ass it's, it's making me feel like they damn near gonna miss out and they just gonna be sitting here stuck looking at you Moving forward in a new direction. Choose a new direction is out here. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because somebody was dragging ass. Dragging ass to come and, and give you this apology or dragging ass to accept an apology here. They all closed off and shit. Okay? <clears throat> I'm getting the angry energy off of this five of wands energy. Okay, so this, 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 yeah, somebody could be apologizing for an argument or a fight. Okay, they could have been cussing you out. They could have been apologizing for having you in a, in a competition. I don't really get competition energy because it's like this person, you guys are really focused on each other with this king of cups and queen of cups out here. I mean, I'm just saying, uh huh, with the three of swords out here and the knight of cups. Yeah, there's a lot of love and a lot of hurt in this connection right here. This is why spirits say remain positive and move in a new direction with this chariot here and the strength energy here. You better find the strength within yourself to move forward away from this connection. This is what I'm feeling. Until you can heal. Not saying that y'all can't come back together if that's what you want to do. But at this very moment, both of you guys got to heal. Because y'all both in y'all feelings. King of Cups, Queen of Cups out here. Y'all both in y'all feelings. Things have happened in this connection to where y'all have, y'all mastered y'all emotions here. King and Queen of Cups. Mm-hmm. Yep. There is success if you believe. So if you guys can get y'all emotions together towards each other, especially, or about this connection, there, there could be success in this connection, but you got to be very, very emotionally mature and vulnerable at the same time in order to exchange those energies of love with you and your person. If you believe there is success and that success can come in the near future, all you got to do is follow your intuition Honey bone. Okay. We also too have um within the next few months. But then we have now is not the right time. So if you're trying to get back with your person right now, or really trying to connect and show your love and show that you want to, you know, uh Try to work on this situation, salvage this situation, something of the sort. Y'all both y'all both emotional. You both are crying and pouring out your feelings, and you think that you could do it this time around. Now is not the right time. Because why y'all still have to heal? Y'all can have a good cry together, but you you also have to remember. The, the 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 some of your decisions, both of you guys, that got y'all to that point where y'all crying and, and and revealing emotion to each other. That tells me that there is still healing within both of you guys individually that you have to still achieve and overcome. Like I said, crying is healing, but at the same time, I wouldn't rush into 
another connection or another cycle with this person that you 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 sitting there crying tears with. That don't make sense to me. But you know, to each his own, do what you do. I'm I'm, I'm just here to tell you what the car is saying, what spirits say. That's all. <laughs> All right, collective, I'm going to leave it right here. This is all the messages that I have for you. If any of these messages has resonated with you, please drop a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.